Okay, so one of the things I noticed on Q Pro, and a lot of people have been complaining, I saw a lot of comments, not really complaints, but comments because it is kind of hard to see on the left-hand side here. You could see the little house button and then you see the little TV thing, all those things on the left. So in order to get that to come out, see in the top left, there's a little hamburger menu. I'll kind of scroll up here so you can see it, zoom in a little bit. See it's three blue lines, that's called the hamburger menu. So in order to be able to see the things on the left, you'll go ahead and click that hamburger menu and you can see then those things pop out. So then you could go down there to the home or live TV, movies, TV shows. Then they have one called catch up, don't know what that means yet, and radio, doesn't go anywhere, already checked, accounts and settings. Now I went to the settings buttons and you've got Q, account, player settings, player, stream type. I looked through all of those, you won't be changing anything like that. Update con contents. Uh, the parental controls is really easy to use. You just go in there and set a password. Um, there's also a built-in speed test, which is really nice. So you go in here and hit that begin, and it will do the uh, ping, and then the download, and then upload. And as you can see, we have quite a few devices on our network right now. So our ping test is a little higher than it was when I first did it. And then our download speeds, you can see, uh, it says 33.19. I think it's a little higher than that. Um, but we have a lot of devices going on right now. And then upload speed as well. So that's the speed test. Uh, take it for what it's worth. I'm not sure how accurate that one is. Uh, backup, remote control, language. You can change it to other languages. I haven't, uh, I haven't checked the support button yet. And then other settings. I did go down here to other settings. Now there are other settings, so you have your sleep mode up here, your live TV enabled media control, that's off for right now, your load EPGs on one day, uh, full screen, auto start app after reboot. I just left all these the same for right now because I didn't really need them for anything. And then there's a sign out button. So that's what the settings do. So then I go back over here, now I'm on settings and nothing's popped out. I go back up here to the top, hit the hamburger menu, and it all pops out again. Now, when you're also at the top, you could scroll over and you can see that there's a TV guide and see it's highlighted in blue. So you can see what you're on. Now, I did the search feature and right now um, it's a global search. So searching TV channel, movies, names, so on and so forth. So you go in here and type that in. And before on Q Pro, you could test, use the blue button and say a movie like Brooklyn and it would come up. Now, it doesn't look like it's working, but maybe because I need to click that. Now, because I clicked that, now it shows up everything with the word Brooklyn in it. So that's kind of a nice change. It's a little extra step because before it just did that for us and we didn't have to pick TV or, or whatever we wanted to choose from, but this is gonna be able to get you to maybe use it a little bit differently. So if you hit that again, and we'll do a different one, we'll do um, marry me. Now nothing comes up, right? But that's because it's on global. So we go to live TV, VOD and series. Now the movies marry me come up. So it's just one little extra step, but I, I it's not really that big a deal. At first I thought it didn't work at all. Um, but then those options came up and then I saw it. Then you've got the TV guide. Now this is pretty nice too because the TV guide to me looks a little bit better than the other one did. Um, but my eyesight's pretty good. Now I know a lot of people would like to change the font, but to me it's, it's pretty good size font. And you could scroll over to see what's coming up. And it's a little bit more like the Cox one that we have right now. And you can go over and at the top you've got your favorites which i haven't gotten into yet and i'll get into that here in a little bit but you could change to entertainment news channels so then it reconfigures everything to just news channels or at least it's supposed to there we go it took a while uh and then you got kids and family movie channels so instead of having to go to the left like the q2 was everything's right here at the top and then it just reconfigures everything and the one thing I like about it a little bit better than the other one is I can kind of see better what's coming up uh, in the future 
on the, the channels. So I, I kind of like that a little bit better. So that's my review so far. Uh, it does say music choice up here, and I haven't even gotten to that. But um, again, it, play around with it. I mean, it's working pretty good as far as um, buffering speeds and things like that. It seems to be doing pretty good. So um, we'll, we'll experiment a little bit more and see what, see what I can find out with it.